So there's a lot riding on this video. I got a lot of eyes on me, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who want to know what I have to say about this specific topic. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the premiered video. I'm Cosmeto, and today I'm going to be telling you guys my full opinions on the EXE community. So when I started playing the first EXE game, it was Sonic EXE, that got major attention. It was one of the most popular games that was out there for an EXE game because I think it was the first and only EXE. And after time went on there were some other exe games that got mentioned like ben.exe came out right after that and then i think sonic round 2.exe came out and then oldham 77 came out with toy story exe i don't know the actual order i know luigi kid's really good at that what i'm trying to say is there has been an evolving thing going on with the exe community how something about it is just making it grow and making it expand i mean who doesn't want to see their hero become super evil like i yeah, that that's that's what it is and it's cool it's interesting and most of my subscribers are from the exe community so i'm not coming at anybody when i say this opinion about any about this game there is nothing negative there is nothing bad that i'm going to criticize in a harsh way it's going to be my opinions what i think and what i believe could be better so no this is not going to be a bullying video where i just trash on the exes now for starters some of you are just beginning to make these EXE games, so I'm just gonna give you a little hint on what to expect. As a content creator, we wanna make sure we have fun and exciting moments, and some of us are funnier than others, so we come up with different improv ways to make the video more exciting in case the video game is just going through some weird transition and oftentimes content creators really count on the game to give us something to make fun of it or react to it and if we just sit there like this I feel that if I'm staring at a text box during an EXE game and it's constantly appearing and I'm just reading and the whole thing is just mostly text than game I will naturally get bored at that I think there's sometimes there's a lot of EXE games that produces too much text that just makes me read things with no audio no uh, voice lines coming from anybody and I think in order to get that attention for the player what you would want is to attract not just their eyes but their ears too. You want them to see and feel that whatever's coming as text. A perfect example is, and don't take offense to this, do not take offense to this. There is a game called Deprived Hedgehog, which was just showing text and there was no audio or anything. It was just read text boxes up at the top left and I was kind of reading it and I'm like, you know, it would be beneficial to hear it and see the words in front of me instead of looking up to the top left. Especially when I got a web camera right here and nobody can see the texts, so it can be a little bit of a problem sometimes. Cutscenes, I feel like, are super important in these EXE games. In the first scene, we have sprite animations where you get caught and Sonic eats tails or Sonic kills Knuckles and stuff like that. And I think those are what makes them so unique. It's not just the constant JPEG images of the of the artwork that people make. It's the creativity of how this character was destroyed or eliminated or something like that. So it's you want to take into what the character is doing, not just in text. Oh, he's dead, and then it just shows a dead picture of Knuckles. Like it just it that's that's kind of dull in my opinion. A perfect example of a great animator is Mr. Pixel. They make everything look detailed. Just a different version of the EXE because they want their EXE to be nasty and fierce and that shows. You literally hear and see the, the, the body moving and eating tails and just devouring him so it really makes it look dark and sinister and that's what makes it go wow I'm interested in this. The location of the map I think is consistent with Green Hill. I know that all the Sega games do Green Hill and I know that's their tradition. I think there should be a story in the beginning where you start off in Mobius or you start off by Mystic Ruins or you start off by, uh, I think it's like something Alpine, the Snowy Hills, and it just, the EXE comes from something else. Like, where does the EXE come from? It just jumps you right into this world. Like, oh, the, the EXE's right here. How did it get there? What happened? How did that version of the EXE take place in its setting or whatever? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I make it where there it makes sense in the beginning instead of, oh, I guess this is happening. And the EXE character, oh my gosh, there are so many EXEs 
I was talking to Tukin not too long ago during an interview, which I want you guys to see next week. But we talked about how there should be an EXC community, but there's lore. There's actual lore. If there's a way that the actual original content creator of Sonic EXC can come forward and present themselves, we'd appreciate it because that would be the original. Like, Earth 1, Sonic EXE, and then uh, Mr. Pixels from another universe, and then and the Toucans is from another universe. Like, you know, like, there's different ones where you guys can work together and actually create this crazy game where they can all combine. Imagine the teamwork. That's what I'm saying. So, you can pick off different EXEs with different storylines to come up with an actual... EXE verse, you see what I'm saying? But I know about Xenophane and Exeter and Dot EXE. I, I know Lord X. I know those guys. So it's just, it would be awesome to know if they're in the same universe or different universes. I know they pair up in the Friday Night Funkin' world, but I don't know. We, you want, I, I, I know the Friday Night Funkin' there's canon. I would love it if Sonic EXE had canon. When it comes to the gameplay, I honestly do enjoy my platformers, and I do know that's an easier way to create games. There was a game that Toucan also designed called Sonic.GYX. If I completely bomb that, I am so sorry. Toucan, you can tell them in the comments what it actually is. I can also link it down in the description, the actual game. I'm so sorry, but it's like the dot GC. I'm, I'm completely botching it, but it's a 3D uh, first person video game that is an EXE. It was pretty good, actually. Actually, and I enjoyed it and I think there should be more of that there was also a game called sonic.exe the abyssal or the apocalypse or something like that I played a long time ago and that was a good exe game it was dark I was in a cave I had to like do puzzles I had to avoid sonic exe from coming my way I was pretty terrified it was a good game it wasn't like your natural desktop game where I'm staring at my desktop and ben.exe just right there going hello there a ben.exe first person horror game would be horrifying for me me. It actually would be something I would play, but also poop my pants. I would be horrified. I'd probably cry. I'd probably cry. And I thought the apartment next door was a scary game. No. Ben.exe would destroy me. Someone. Someone start it right now. I would say I can voice act if anybody wants me to. I I'm sure Luigi Kid would be down for that too. Matter of fact, I got a bunch of people in my server that want to do that stuff. I guarantee you they would help you guys out. If anybody needs any voice actors or programmers or artists, there's a whole lot of them down in the uh, and down in my server. Like we're there. We got you guys. There are some talented mother, very creative people in my server. I am so proud to have met each and every single one of them. I'm. I don't even know why. There's something. I don't know why I'm looking that way. <laughs> Oh my god, in the one biggest thing that's been driving me crazy, and this is what I think all EXEs should definitely do, is please add checkpoints when someone dies. There are some games that, when you're all the way at the end, that took 30 minutes with no checkpoint, and then you die, and then you have to start the whole game over with the title screen and everything, it's such a drag. You guys don't have to make it like the original Sonic where you start all the way over. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Please program it where when you die, you just say, oh, continue, and you hit yes, and you start over. And only reward us with, like, secret endings or secret bonuses at the end of the game or secret lives if we complete this whole section without dying. You know what I mean? So it's, you can do that instead. There has been countless EXEs that I have avoided and I had to stop playing because I said, I will never pass that. And that's going to follow up with some of the bosses. Some of the bosses, like I've seen with Sonic EXEs or Knuckles or whatever or Metal Sonic, they're standing like this. And they're just moving all over the place. That's it. And you just got to jump and hit them. I know Oldham77 made this one game, uh, Toy Story EXE. And there, there, was the, there was a boss scene where Buzz Lightyear or Woody was doing these different movements and different abilities. And I was blown away. It was not like a normal EXE game. Or Sonic 3.EXE. When uh, huge, huge uh, Tails doll or huge Metal Sonic. And, you're, and then you're playing a Super Sonic. And you're fighting this thing those have checkpoints those have different animations and i think if you take away the fundamentals of what the player wants and, and you 
you just kind of throw all these different programs in and just go, yeah, I'm, I don't even want to do that. You take away a lot of the fun, and then you give us games where we're like, oh, I want to play, I want you to play this, and we play it, and you're like, dude, it doesn't even look like it's done. I just feel like I want to enjoy playing the game. I'm not, I, I, I'm not trying to make an eight-minute video for the advertising. I ain't trying to do that. I, I want to make this video long so the, so the person that's watching this can be like, wow, that game's pretty lit. Let me go check it out. A lot of people watch shorts now. That's great, but... I want people to see more than that. But those are my opinions. That's just really how I feel about the EXE community. I want to be a part of it too. And I don't want to stray away from it. And I've seen all these different artists and creators that have been blowing up recently. And I have been honored to play their games and communicate with them. And have them in my server, by the way. They're, it, uh, it's, it's an honor to have you people in my server. Like, all of you. Uh, you there's too many names to say. But y'all are in the y'all are in the dis, uh, Discord, so I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys want to go communicate with them, they're down there too. That's all I really got to say on the topic. I appreciate you guys listening. I hope I gave y'all advice on some of that. I, I just think that this EXE lifestyle could be more, and I think it could even get recognized even bigger because there's some people that I don't even realize would be into the EXE community that like say oh yeah i know about sonic.exe one of my best friends who doesn't even touch video games knows about sonic exe he knows that because he read some lore about creepy pastas so he yes yeah, so, so if he knew about it so it's it's crazy how it just kind of reached out there as its own thing anyway i will see you guys soon thank you for listening and i will uh see you soon yeah <laughs> okay all right guys love you i'm cosmeto and that just happened bye